Hello children, this is your teacher McEnroe again. So I believe that you all are doing well. This is usually I ask you whenever I start the class, right? Yeah, because we all are actually, you know, concerned about you all. So what we are going to do today is, as I told you in my last class that I am going to continue with the next part of the lesson name the happy prince of the supplement reader of your class okay and uh, i want you to just place your book the supplement reader in front of you so that you will be able to understand something that i am trying to teach you at the moment okay so what you have to do again you have to place your book the supplement reader the name of the book is movements okay have it placed right in front of you and uh, just look at those paragraphs as I'll be reading them out and then I will give you the explanation as well let's continue so in my last class in the part 2 of the happy prince I left you with the sadness of the statue in the narration to the swallow by the statue. The statue is actually the happy prince statue which was erected. Okay? I don't want you to forget this, so that's why I keep on telling this. Okay? It is the statue of the happy prince which is feeling sad about what? About all the bad things which is happening around him. As he is the statue right now, so he could see everything what is happening in his city. The misery, the unhappiness, sorrow and so many bad things which are happening in and around his city. And the swallow, who is another character here I would say, which stopped over there to take shelter for a night as it was heading towards Egypt to join its friends but it had to stop because it was a long journey right so the bird the swallow had to stop and decided to take rest and when it was about to fly what it saw was the tears of the statue which was falling from the eyes of the statue and when the statue was asked by the swallow that why he is crying and who is he then in response to that the statue told the swallow that he is the happy prince and the swallow was surprised as why the happy prince would cry if he is so happy then he narrated the entire story about himself, the statue, when he was very much alive and how happy he was and he never let any kind of unhappiness and sorrow entering into his palace as well as his entire city. But when he died, he was placed on a high place it was erected, the statue was erected on a higher place and he could see everything, the sadness in and around his city. So that is why he was weeping and just because of that, that poor swallow was soaked or trenched with water. Okay. So this is the whole story so far and yes, I forgot to mention about the same dress the same dress a woman tailor okay uh, you are having your book please have a look at that a woman tailor is called a same dress okay and here is the story of a same dress and uh, the same dress is being noticed by the statue the seamstress is actually inside her house that's what 
the statue is telling the swallow, the bird. Okay, the statue is telling the bird that see there is one woman tailor which is inside her house and she looked extremely tired and helpless and also is hungry. This is the statement of the statue, the prince to the swallow. Okay, and he is asking the swallow to do him a favor and what is that? He is asking the swallow to please help him to at least give something to those poor people. The woman who is a woman tailor, the seamstress and the child who is down with fever and that is actually the child of that uh, poor woman, the seamstress. And at the same time, the seamstress had to finish doing her embroidery on a gown. A gown of what? A gown of whom? A gown of a queen's maid who is supposed to walk along with the queen during the court ball. What is court ball? That is actually a big occasion or say we say party which was happening in the palace and for that the queen's maid, maid is actually uh, the person who is helping the queen in everything is a maid and that is why she is, I am talking about the queen's maid is expecting this gown to be completed within few days. So with that kind of uh, order which has been given to the seamstress, she is actually completely in a mess right now because her child ran a temperature and she had to look after him also. At the same time, they are not having food to eat. She did not have anything to give to that son, her son and they were not even having proper water to drink. What kind of water it was that they were drinking? A reverse water. So just because of that, that child was feeling uneasy and that too has got fever. So that's why I mean this poor lady, the poor woman tailor, the same dress was actually helpless in this case. Okay. So here the statue could see everything. So he decided to get some help from the swallow. As a, as a bird, the swallow could fly and could you know, deliver something to be eaten by them. So that is why the statue was needing help from the swallow, the bird which was stopping there for a night to stay. Let us move on. So the happy prince statue requested the swallow to take out the ruby stone. As I told you earlier that the statue is completely made of precious gems or precious stones like sapphires, ruby, gold. Okay. So the prince asked the swallow, please take out the ruby stone from my handle of my sword and give it to that poor lady and her son. The prince was ordering, I, w I, I, I should not be saying it ordering, I mean he was requesting the swallow to take out the ruby stone from the handle of his sword as it was actually equipped with. I, I would not say that it, it was equipped with, it was completely you know designed with ruby stone the gem, okay, the precious stone. So if a person would sell it, they would really get some money. So that is why the prince was asking and requesting the bird to take out the ruby stone from the handle of the sword of the happy prince, the statue. Here what kind of statement the swallow stated, let us just see, 
I am waited for in Egypt, said the swallow. My friends are flying up and down the Nile and talking to the large lotus flowers. Soon they will go to sleep. This is the statement of the swallow and it is there in your book in the paragraph. The swallow replied that he had to go to Egypt. His friends were waiting for him. The swallow said that his friends were in Egypt. Okay. And uh, they are flying over the river. And what is that river's name? It's a famous river in Egypt. The Nile River. Okay. N-I-L-E, Nile River. So let's move on. They were flying near the Nile River and talking to the large lotus flowers which grew there. Soon they would go to sleep and so it wanted to reach Egypt at the earliest. Why the swallow was in hurry? Because it seriously wanted to reach to Egypt and join its friends before they could reach to Nile River. As they would be talking to the large lotus flowers which grew there. So the swallow did not want to miss that chance. And when they finished talking to the lotus flowers over there, they will soon sleep. So seriously, this poor swallow did not want to miss this chance. Here, let's proceed with the statement of the prince. The prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. Yes, here it is right now. The prince just requested him. It's there in your book, okay? Just have a look at that. Let me just finish the statement of the prince. The prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. The boy is so thirsty and the mother so sad, he said. The prince is telling to the swallow that please stay with me here for a night and be my messenger because the boy is so thirsty and the mother is sad so you need to help them for God's sake. The statue requested the swallow to stay with him for one night. He asked it to be his messenger and work on his behalf. Since the statue was immovable, not able to move. So that's why the statue requested the swallow to help him and be his messenger just for a night. He said that, that the boy was thirsty and his mother was sad. So it should go and give the ruby stone to her. Who was supposed to take out the ruby stone and give it to that lady and his son? The swallow, requested by the prince. Uh, I just want you to look at the statement next, which is there in your paragraph. I don't think I like boys, answered the swallow. I want to go to Egypt. From this statement now, we can easily figure out the gender of this bird, the swallow. Because here it said this. I don't think I like boys, answered the swallow. The swallow is telling that to the prince, the statue. I don't think that I like boys. So that means it's a lady bird. <laughs> it's a female. The swallow bird is a female. So that's why she said it. That she doesn't like boys. I want to go to Egypt. Please don't ask me to stop. I want to go to Egypt. I want to fly as soon as possible. So I'm not going to help you and uh, I don't think so that I can be any help to you anymore, so let me just go. So that's what she was telling, who? The swallow. Once again, the swallow opposed his request and said that it did not like boys, so why should it help that boy? Moreover, it had to go to Egypt. So this was actually the statement and the explanation of the uh, swallow. More to the next sentence, is actually there in your paragraph again. But the happy prince looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry. It was very cold here, he said, but he agreed to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. Thank you, little swallow, said the prince. Now, 
the bird, the swallow, was having that kind of feelings towards the statue, the prince. It was having that pityness towards the statue. So it decided to stay there for a night and be the messenger of the prince or I would say the statue. Okay? So let us see that what happened next. Here the prince is saying thank you to the swallow. Let us see. The happy prince was so sad that swallow felt sorry for him. It said that it was very cold there but it would stay with him for one night and next one it would do her work. The happy prince thanked her. The happy prince thanked the swallow as it decided to stay there for a night. Next sentence or the next statement. The swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in its beak over the roofs of the town. The explanation. Finally, the swallow took out the ruby stone from the happy prince's sword and the bird took the ruby in its beak and flew over the town. Okay? As the swallow was ordered and requested by the prince to take out the ruby and just to give that to the poor lady over there along with her son who was down with fever. He passed by the cathedral tower were sculptured. He passed by the palace and heard the sound of dancing. That is the statement in your paragraph. Did you see that? Did you find it? It's there. He passed by the cathedral tower. You know the meaning of cathedral? C-A-T-H-E-D-R-A-L, cathedral tower. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you afterwards. But I'm just asking you right now whether you know it or not. Okay, fine. So here is the explanation. As this swallow was on its way to the poor woman's house, it passed the cathedral. The cathedral meaning is, it's a church. On the church tower, white color marble angels were sculptured. Okay, that is actually a church. And most of the church, repeat, most of the church, they do have a tower. So this tower was made of precious stone, marble angels were sculptured there. Okay, so the swallow it was flying over the cathedral tower of the city. Then he reached the palace. He crossed the palace and he could hear the sound of dancing from inside the palace. So what it could notice was the palace and people were dancing inside the palace and they were making joy. All right, let's move on. A beautiful girl came out on the balcony with her lover. I hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball, she said. I have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it, but the same stresses are so lazy. This is a statement of that woman the queen's maid actually, the one who was about to walk along with the queen during the uh, ball, court ball actually, which I told you in the beginning actually about the party or some big function which was happening in the palace. So this is the statement of that beautiful girl from that palace. and. Uh, it was heard or I would say it was overheard by the swallow when it was flying and passing by. It was carrying the ruby, the red stone and it was delivering it to the poor woman, the woman whose son was down with fever. And the son who was actually feeling hungry and thirsty. So this bird 
was flying and passing by and at that time it heard this beautiful woman lady talking to her lover saying what saying this statement what is that statement i hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball i have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it but the same dresses are so lazy the same dresses are so lazy this is a statement of the beautiful lady she is saying that that seamstress who has been ordered to do the embroidery work on that dress the dress of the same lady she is calling her as a lazy seamstress so let me just explain it more when this swallow was crossing over the palace a girl came out on the balcony along with her lover she was hoping that the gown which she had given to the same dress for embroidering would be ready on time she was talking about the same gown on which that lady was doing embroidering to whom the bird had to give the ruby stone okay this is actually the complete explanation of what i just told you just now he passed over the river and saw the lanterns hanging on the mast he passed over the river and saw the lanterns hanging on the mast of the ships at last he came to the poor woman's house and looked in here the meaning of mast what do you think m a s t mast what could be that the meaning of that okay let me just like give you the explanation after that i'll move on all right when the swallow flew over the river ships also came along the way lanterns were hanging on their sails finally the swallow reached the woman's house i mean when the swallow was flying towards the house of that poor seamstress the lady whose son was actually down with fever and who was thirsty and when it passed the palace and when it overheard everything what that lady beautiful lady just stated to her lover after that when she crossed and passed that the swallow saw everything the mast of the ships okay that that was actually happened when it was flying it saw many ships there okay and it saw the mast there the mast of the ships let me just tell you what is the meaning of mast sail of the ship okay all those ships were sailing so when it passed that it just reached to the woman's house now let's just read the next sentence of the paragraph the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed and the mother had fallen asleep she was so tired that is there in your book let me read it again the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed and the mother had fallen asleep she was so tired meaning the boy ran a temperature and for that reason he was not able to sleep so he was turning left and right that is the meaning of tossing he was turning left and right as the boy was feeling uncomfortable because of high fever and because of what he was not getting what he was not getting food and water to drink he was drinking rivers water his mother was very tired due to working for long and had fallen asleep this is what happened right next sentence in he hopped and laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's thimble the swallow put the ruby stone on the table near the thimble okay now let's see what the explanation says here hopped h o p the meaning of that is to jump okay and thimble t h i m b l e thimble means a metal or plastic cap with a closed end one to protect the finger and push the needle in swing that's called thimble okay so when 
the bird, the swallow reached over there. It just kept the ruby stone on the table near the thimble, where the thimble was kept, where the thimble was placed. Okay. Now, kids, I'm going to call it a day. I shall meet you in my next class with the next part of this lesson, The Happy Prince. I believe that you have learned something from my teaching and from this lesson as well. And I would say you must learn something from it because it's giving us a message. Okay. So no problem. We shall meet next time in my next class and with the next part of this lesson, The Happy Prince. Till then, hashtag stay safe, stay healthy, cheerio, all the best.